What's poppin', y'all? You rockin' with Jiggy Jones. And listen, of course, we at Jew Line Club, NYC, Middle Manhattan. Big shout out to them for hosting us. Today we got a guest in the building. Trey from Memphis. Yeah, Trey sure. loaded in the building. All right, What's good, Brody? What's going on? Bro? How you, man? I'm good. See you iced out? Man, listen. Got the, got the ribs piece, got the, I mean, yeah, grills man, and listen, shit. This shit, shit like, this shit like. Where, where, you, where you typically get your, um, your ice from? I got, I got my, my watch from um, Blue Moon. It's in, it's in. L.A. Okay, fine, fine. Yeah, big shit, some big shit. Where you be getting cool. grills from? You go down to Houston? No, nah, no. Nah, I, 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 I want to go to Geo, though. My, my niece done Geo when yeah. I go perm. I ain't perm yet, but I'm going to go perm. Geo with less. daddy. Fire, fire, fire. So, of course, like I said, you from Memphis. You in NYC right now. Yeah. So, what, what you been getting into while you uh while you here in New York? Man, I've been working. That's all I've been on out here. I've mm -hmm. been working, working. I'm going to do some uh, on the radar. I'm going to do that again. I got my I just been out here working. I did that Aki Way stuff. Fire, fire. All right. All right, definitely do your thing, man. You just you just dropped the tape. Yeah. New tape last month. God. Going crazy. It's going crazy right now. I mean, Streams, you got you got a couple joints on there that's doing it over over a mil. Yeah. How does that feel now? Cause I look at every time an artist put out a tape or a project, I look at it like like that's your child. Yeah. Tell me you put mad effort into that and then once it's done, it's like, yo, I gotta let you live. Yeah. So how do you feel now? Now that the project actually out, I mean, I feel good. I mean, I've been dropping, been dropping with it, been dropping videos with it. Yeah. I got like most of my videos, I got like I probably down there. I don't know most of them junk. I only junk got a video with it. So I've like, been trying to do that, keep content, yeah. keep dropping, keep growing. Like you know what I mean? it's all it is, yeah, keep growing. Gotta be consistent. One of my joints on there, I rock with is uh, "Don't Panic." Yeah. Don't panic. Definitely spitting on there. The beat crazy. crazy. Who is? Did you? How many producers you work with on that project? Because the beats is like. It's so many different type of beats, but they all hitting with the eight oh eight. Yeah, it's um, I think it's, what folk. It's folk, folk producers on that joint. Mm -hmm. But but my main producers, um, say Breeze and Daniel. That okay, was, they got most of the most of the joints on there. They're my main producers though. Right, and you you linked up with uh that Mexican OT for that ticket. Yeah, that joint going crazy. How, how did y'all even um link up? Who Man, set that play up? See my folks, my folks, my folks got me locked in with them. Um, it's really, like, it's a lot, it's a lot that, that went behind us getting locked in, but yeah. my folks got me locked in with him, man. He ended up doing a show in the city, mm -hmm. in Memphis, and shit, we, we locked in when I was there, we shot the video. Right. You, you popped out and performed it? No, nah, no. Nah, oh, the song wasn't out yet? It was too late, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah it was too late, it was too late. I would have, I would, he, he was finna let me perform and everything, but mm -hmm. it was too late, it was last minute, he just told me to pull up, I was yeah. backstage, shit. Then we had went and shot the video, and he was, you know. So you let it, say it clean. Okay. Now... We gonna go back into the project, so we got we gotta take it back, right? Yeah. Back to your roots. I mean, you from Memphis? Yeah. Uh, born and raised. No, right. born and raised. So, so just growing up, like, what what even got you into music? Cause it's like, you Memphis is a music heavy city. Yeah. You know, you got Bag out there, Gotti, rest in peace, Dolph, All Key right. Glock. It's a lot of people in the game right now. It's holding Memphis down. Glow, Glorilla, like, like what really just put you set set you on that path to take that path of music? I don't lie. I don't like. Okay, so. But I, I be hating it, like, I don't be wanting to bring, bring, bro, because, like, a lot of people be asking me, like, this your uncle, but, like, mm. like, Trip, this my uncle, like, Don Trip, this my uncle, mm. but he been, but he been rapping for the longest, and my dad, like, like, they, they locked in, so he was just, like, road man, like, they were doing it, so, boom, when they was on the road, and they were doing tours, and, like, they were doing, like, shows and shit, mm. like, I, I always found that shit interesting, you know what I'm saying, like, I found that shit interesting, but then, like, my pop started taking me to the studio and shit, but it was, like, when I was in the studio, I, don't know, I was just dirt though. You know what I'm saying? I was just dirt. I, I didn't think. I didn't <laughs> you you wasn't nice yet. Yeah, like I didn't really think about it as. Like, I went in the studio, but I oh, was dirt. You know what I'm saying? So gotcha. I, I didn't think about it as like, this is what they do for their life. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, this is what they, they really do this shit. Yeah. So we were just like, I think, and shit, we just in the studio. Mm -hmm. But as I got older, you know what I'm saying? I used to just start understanding this shit. And then, like, me and my niggas start freestyling and shit like that, smoking and shit. So they just tell me, like, free, like, yo, shit, yo, shit a little different than my shit. Like, yo, shit hard. Like, you know what I'm saying? You just yeah. take this shit serious. So. I just started taking this shit serious, posting on TikTok, freestyling and shit, and yeah. shit went from there. Yeah. So, so you feel like if 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 you know your pops and your uncle ain't ain't really take you to the studio, would you would have? Would you you think you would have started freestyling with your homies? Yeah, yeah. Or, I don't because I don't, I don't really think that's what that's like. Because mm -hmm. like, that wasn't really just the reason I started. I'm like, I yeah. never really. Like my uncle, like now he uh, he be pushing, he be tell, he be telling me keep going, do this shit, like you know what I'm saying, take this shit serious. But like at first when I was doing this, I ain't never want to ask him for like mm. get on or something. Like, I ain't want to want to ask him, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I wanted to build it on me, like you know what I'm saying. I want to show him, like uh, he wanted to do this shit. Yeah. 
So did, did did you feel like once once you started getting that traction and your uncle seen that, what he say then? Yeah, nah, he thought fuck with, like he he, he fuck with it though. Yeah. Like, but it, I don't feel like it was just like oh because I'm getting traction, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But it was just like he see like oh, you gotta show you gotta show a nigga that you want to do this shit. Like, Facts, yeah. Because there's a lot of people say they want to do it and and they don't want to take this shit serious. Like they're not pushing themselves, but they want you to get on that shit. They want you to fuck with them. Facts. So it's like you gotta show them. And when I show him, I was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he'll do an album with me right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's like, fine. This my, like, we locked in, so. Yeah. You see, it just, it just come with this shit. You just gotta take this shit serious. Nah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Now, as far as, like, inspiration, right? I read you got, like, Future, everybody from Future to Bruno Mars. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wide range of people that you got inspiration from. Okay. So, what, like, when you was listening to the music, like, where, where did you, I want to hit a Bruno Mars, like, like, why, why Bruno Mars out of, out, of, out of all artists? See, like, I don't know. Like, I just listen to so many, so much different music. Like, yeah. I, I don't really look. Like, I make tunnel music. I make lit music. I make trap music. Like, but, like, this is not just what I listen to. Like, you know what I'm saying? I listen to, like, Anthony Helms. I listen to, like, Rodway. I listen to Bruno Mars. You got that this. soul. Like, I listen to different music. Yeah. Just that. I feel like I already help with my music. You know what I'm saying? Help facts. with the versatility of this shit. Yeah. You can't do, like, I mean, like you can rap, you can you can scream, you can do all that shit. Like, mm-hmm. but you gotta be able to switch. You gotta be versatile with this shit. Yeah, you want to take it far. Yeah. Oh, facts. Now, now the biggest fan base when everybody start making music, right? Yeah. I always say like women are like the go to. A shorty gonna tell you if you if your joint hot or not. Like, is shorty bobbing to you, you know you got some joints. Yeah, yeah. Now you in school probably at that time when you and your homies rapping. Did y'all have girls around to tell you like, yo, like, like yo, trace trace it a little bit more. Nah, nah, cause I was okay. So boom. When I started rapping, I was just turning, I was just, I made my first video on, on my 18th birthday, so like, but mm. I was just turning 18. And it was like, we was, that was during pandemic, so we went in school, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Damn. But I ain't like, I ain't like, cause how my, my shit started jumping on TikTok, like, tw- that was like 12th grade, so boom. If I was in school, if we was in school while my shit just started going up, it would've been like, that shit would've been crazy, like, oh. the, the nigga was eating, like, no, that was big eating anyway, because, my shit was going up. So imagine like we in <laughs> school, they see me and print like, oh, yo, I just seen your shit. Like, yeah. like, it ain't anything before you get out of high school. So that shit was, you know what I'm saying? But we was, we was during, that was during pandemic. Yeah, it, so yeah. I graduated and then like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of folks in this, like, folks just know, like, folks know me because of yeah. this shit. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't, I wasn't, like, I ain't had no name before. I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't saying I had no name. Like, I was doing what I was doing, but yeah. like, I ain't had no, no really low notoriety. But yeah. like, folks know me not off this shit. No so, so, so you was chilling that whole time, you never, Nah, um, like even in school, like I was, I was a cool nigga. Like I was a chill nigga. Like, I, was, I was out the way. Like I was doing what I was doing yeah. outside of school. Like you know what I'm saying? Right. Like in school, I was just, I was just, just chilling. You know what I'm saying? I was out the way. Like, I was cool. I read that you, you, you playing ball too. Yeah, I, I, I stopped playing ball in like grade though. Okay, okay. Cause I, had, I had to get some money. Like yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't, oh, I couldn't do it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I had to go get some money. I couldn't, I couldn't beat out a nigga without no money. So, I had to uh, as a, as a, But you, you, you was nice? Would you say you was nice? No, my mom was hooping. I was hooping. You was hooping? I'll give you 40 for real. No, I was hooping. <laughs> Make it sleep. I'll give you, would you, would you dunk it? Nah, hell no. Oh, nah, nah, nah. So, so, so what, if you, if you compare one player to like, at that time, what player that you, did, did you idolize your game after? Like, Kyrie, Bron, KD? I don't know, like, uh, uh, I'm probably Kyrie or something like. I don't know. Oh, so you, so you got the strength. You got oh, handy. Like, bro, I used to, man. I, I used to be. Oh, my mom used to nigga, nigga sleep. I used to do that. I used to get a nigga work. <laughs> you got, you got highlights or not? Nah? nah, nah. Oh, <laughs> hey, I might, I might, I might, I might be able to show you. Something. Listen, man, I you gotta pull up them highlights. Give them highlights so we can put it on the footage. You know what I mean? Show you something. They gonna be like Trey Love. Ooh. Nah, nah. That's what's up. You know, I, I love seeing like just the transition. Like you said, anybody that make a decision that say like, yo, all right. This not gonna get me the way I want to get get yeah. to. I'm gonna I'm gonna shift my focus elsewhere. I had to. Yeah. I had to. So so now with your with your you finally getting that getting that traction. It's 2020. I mean, you getting that getting that motion with the music, putting your stuff on TikTok. What was the first video or song that you said that you it was like that told yourself that you know like this is the moment where I think I think I'm about, I'm about to really take off. Mm. It's called Boat Flow. Mm. Buffalo, that's probably the joint that really just turned me up. Like, that's how, yeah, that's probably just turned me up. Like, everybody know that joint. Like, yeah. For four months. Now, 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 Buffalo got over six million streams right now. Yeah. A mil, million uh, on YouTube. Okay. Um, the remix got got so super. So, how, how'd you end up looking in, in Big Boogie on there? Bro, that shit, that shit, some other shit. That shit, some other shit. 
That's just some other shit. Hold oh, uh, You ain't fucking with the remix? Nah, nah, that's just some other shit. <laughs> the label did that? That's just some other shit. <laughs> That shit's some other shit, bro. That's all I can say. <laughs> Wait, who, who are those niggas, though? I don't know. I know Big Boogie. I fuck with Big Boogie, but... You don't know those niggas? So super? Nah, that, I, it's just some other shit. It's just some other oh, shit. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. But you fuck with their verses? <laughs> or, or, like, you just like, yo... It just... It just... It just I didn't... I, I, want, I want a part of that show. That is shit. Uh, got you, got you, got you. So at the vote flow... Um, which one came? Which one came after that, or before that? Crash out or, or, or cancer? Uh, crash out, crash out. That bitch went crazy. That that's that bitch started going up. Mm -hmm. Oh god, that bitch started going. I don't know, cause my video when I was dropping video, like I was just, you know what I'm saying? We just dropping. Oh my mom, we just go to the trouble, go to the, you know what I'm saying? And shit. Video like, and niggas was fucking with this shit, like they fuck with this shit. So I just kept doing it. Yeah. Oh god. Now on one of your joints, um. You say I might throw throw on these ricks like I'm Ross. Yeah. I mean, I got the ricks on. I, I ain't even know before I even started the song. I was like, damn, I got on some ricks, ricks today. So, oh wait, what Ross got to do with Rick Owens, though? And who? You talking about Rick Ross? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Rick, Rick Ross. Like I'm bugging. I'm bugging. Nah, you got that. You got that. You got that. I'm bugging. I'm bugging. I'm bugging. I'm bugging. You right. You right. You right. <laughs> but you, you fuck with Rick Owens, though? Oh. Um. To an extent, fool. I ain't gonna lie. To an extent, like I, I fuck with the low top joint. Low top joint. Yeah, I, I say the high top better. I, I got the low top, but the high tops get right. I mean, yeah. so what's your what's your what's your fashion? What's your what's your be what's your what's your what's your, what's, your, what's, your, what's your drip looking like in Memphis though? I ain't gonna lie, niggas be putting that shit on, but like I ain't, I'm a trap nigga. Like man, I like yeah, Jay, it, you ain't doing too much. Forces. But then at the same time, I throw on some labs or some Dior's, you know what I'm mm. saying, some Prada shit. Yeah. But that's not, you know what I'm saying? I throw Balenci's, the runners. But mm. I'm just like, oh, man, I'm, I'm, I, man, I have white tee forces. White tee. Keep it simple. My, my mama, I don't got my ice on it. I don't even get no <laughs> Fresh cut, fresh tea. Oh, jeez, I'm cool. Forces, J's. They're going to tell they're going to eat anyway. Keep it calm. Now, another joint I rock with on the cheap, uh, another whip. That what, bitch went crazy. Yeah, so so what's your what's your process when, when you pick even picking songs? Because I know you recorded more than you got 12 songs on there, but I know you recorded way more than 12. So how you even how you even decide which one which ones that you actually gonna put on the project and who even helping you? Man, um like it'd be it be hard too at the same time, like because I I I'm up I am up so many songs, like mm -hmm. and it just be hard, like it just be hard to pick sometimes. But like I be having, I got folks around me to help me, like you know what I'm saying, or yeah. or I post a snippet or something, and what they gravitate towards, that'll be like, okay, I know what I'm gonna put on there. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't, I like dropping singles at the same time too, right. like, and just stay consistent, stay consistent. Yeah, because because uh, the singles singles build that fan base. Yeah. Because like you know you you started off, that's how you that's how you that's how you started getting your motion. No route. Put that put that shit on TikTok. One song blew up, they seen the video, and you start dropping. Just keep, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I feel like projects is. People got to be investing in your singles first before they actually. Like that's why I be telling. I, I, I be telling a lot of folks. Like a lot of folks be asking me like about dropping projects and about dropping certain shit. That I be saying like, but start out with singles. Start out with videos, mm -hmm. content. Like that's what they want to see. They want to see your face. They want to see you. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Like then you start dropping a, a lot of shit at once. Cause even the big artists, like it, it, it's big artists that niggas just like sipping and sit and listen to Twitter. Yeah, like, facts. Man, niggas ain't investing an hour no more like no they used cow. to. Now, um, now. Uh, Carmelo Anthony's son, Kanye, um, you know, he definitely, definitely been expressing, showing, showing love. I mean, rocking with your music. Hey. I heard one of his, I think his videographer put your song in his, uh, his video. What, what yeah. song was that? Um, damn. Damn, what song? I think it was Use It. It was one of them songs. Mm -hmm. It was Another Whip. Another Whip. It was Another Whip. You sure, fool? Uh, I guess it was another whip. Yeah. But I know I know he posted that joint on God and uh she stopped following me, you free telling me you fucking with that shit. But that shit cool, like yeah. that type shit cool because she nigga used to watch Carmelo like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit that she see, that she lit. Yeah. But not even just that, but like, you know what I'm saying, dude, like he sound like the cool nigga, legit nigga. So. No, facts. And he he, he balling too doing his thing. Dad. Doing his thing in New York too. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, shit you, you ever you ever been to um you fuck with the Grizzlies? Yeah. You, you been to a game before? Yeah. You yeah. met Jar? Nah, hell nah. Hell nah. I ain't never. Y'all gotta, gotta make that happen. Yeah. But nah, no God. I, didn't, I fuck with the I fuck with, we be going to the games and shit. That shit cool. Well, um, how you how you think the Grizzlies looking this year? 
Man. Compared to the rest of the West. I don't know, man. We're going to see, man. He he coming back, so shit. We're going to see. I don't know. Y'all coming back. The West looking kind of crazy. I mean, I'm, the league's going to get crazy. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm a, I'm a Lakers fan myself, so you know, it's Brian AD, but even, even, we looking a little, everybody looking yeah. shaky. Oh, God. The league getting crazy, though. Mm. Young niggas coming in. That's what I'm saying, but but I feel like with, with, with Memphis, though, is is from from sports to music, right now over the past like four or five years, Memphis really been taking that taking that stride because yeah. for a long time Atlanta had you know the music on lock, then they had the sports on lock, but like Memphis really taking that stride. Is there anybody in Memphis that you say that you would want to work with or even linked up with that you um, uh-huh. would possibly work with? I don't know, like it's a lot of artists in the city. It's a lot of artists in the city that's making money for this shit. Like, I mean, not not even like that's mainstream though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, like, um, like um, I want to work with. I want to work with like the, like the female like in the mm. city. Like, I don't know, nigga, nigga be on weird shit. Like, uh, uh, I work with like the female, like K. Carter. Okay. And like, you know what I'm saying? Them type the female really more. She, she a rapper or singer? Is she rap? Rapper? Like, yeah, she What's her name? K. K. Karma. She be with K. Like, Karma. She be with Glow and shit like. Shout out to K. Like, Karma. Like, but like. I do that type shit, like a lot of the niggas be on weird shit. I don't be on that shit. Yeah, nah. It, stay away from that energy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Do your thing, record your music, keep your emotion going. Yeah, stay I feel like that, nigga in my face. Yeah, all, I feel like all the energy that you that you that you projecting, you're gonna get it back. You know what I mean? Daddy. So so as far as where do you see yourself, just as far as music, you know, the year about to come to an end. You drop this project, going crazy, you've been consistent with the music, videos, a lot of stuff that you pushing, they all hit them. You know what I mean? They had a million views. Yeah. Um, did the on the radar freestyle. How's your the rest of your year looking from now to December? Man, keep working, man. Like I'm finna drop something. Go back, shit, get back to dropping singles. Mm-hmm. You know, my tape been out a month. I give it like probably give it another few weeks and I'm back dropping singles. Like yeah. back working back. I got a lot of videos still put up. You know, I ain't, you know, I'm like, man, I got a lot of stuff. Oh, oh, you, sit, you sitting on some shit yeah, right yeah, now? Yeah, I got a lot of videos I gotta drop. Like I still got, I'm probably end up shooting a video tomorrow. Mm. But I, I just be, I just work like you gotta keep working, keep yeah. up. Remix with uh, big as the plug. Oh, yeah. you got, oh, you got plug that. Yeah, you yeah. got remix with big as the plug. Come yo, yo, talk about that remix. Yeah, yeah that's another one remix. Big as the plug supposed to be on that. Mm. He, he already did his what's called, but we just getting this shit right. Oh, you got the verse already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire. We just get that shit right, get shit right. I'm supposed to be doing some shit, but I ain't gonna drop it. Yet, though, but y'all, we got some shit coming. You seem hype about that shit, bro. That's big, bro. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. That's some big shit. Got it right there. My daddy. That's my. Yeah. Nah, yeah. We, we definitely looking forward to y'all. Oh y'all God. got that shit. Sit at my way so I can get to listen. I <laughs> mean, sure, for sure. you you still got not. You say you used to freestyle with the homies back in the day. You still got the voice memos that you used to record? The shit crazy. I I don't have no my phone, but I know my nigga now got got some of the voice mm-hmm. memos. That shit crazy. How you, yeah, I'm God, we used to do the voice memos and shit. <laughs> you put that anything on the voice memos is actually on the record right now? Probably not. Oh, nah. Yeah, hell nah. Probably so it was trash back then? Yeah, yeah, because that shit was like really just shit. Just and just yeah. the rap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, but, but, I mean it got you nice though. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was like that was that's like shooting jump shots. No cap. You got work like, on that shit. You, you you got like 50 memos, you just freestyling. And then two months, two, two, three months later, you hop in a booth. You just got nicer. Yeah, yeah. Didn't even know it. No cap. What's your what's your what's your definition of success right now? Even, <laughs> even though you're young in the game, you really just starting. But like, what you really want to get out of this game? Man, I just I just want to be able to take care of my people. Like, mm-hmm. be able to take care of everybody around me. Like, like my first like who when I was like when I was when I was in the street like doing what I was doing. I was still like I was trapping and working. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I was trying to make make a way. And then my mindset when I started making money, I music. Like I was like, if I can make, if I can make six, seven a month, I just have music. Yeah. Then I don't sure. gotta do. I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to do that. But then it was like, and then I started making music. And I'm like, okay, I ain't gotta work no more. I'm just doing this and making music. Mm. So boom, I start. You know what I'm saying? That just just started going up and going up. So yeah. after a while, it was just like, like I know this music shit can can take care of me and everybody else around me. Mm-hmm. I mean, bro, you you only twenty one. You know my daddy. When when you uh, when your birthday? So February nineteenth. February nineteenth. Twenty two next year. Yeah. Hell young, you got mad time, bro. Okay. I mean, don't don't. I would say, don't, you know, don't rush anything. You already on the right path. Stay focused, like you said. You stay working. Yeah. You out here, you ain't really doing too much, but you just like you like yo. I, 
I just gotta stay focused. Mm-hmm. So would you say like the, the people around you right now, um, like any any of your homies that you was with back then, are they are they with you like on the road or helping you with music at all? Or? Yeah, yeah. Like when well, I mean my niggas don't really like my money. I mean they. They say they're gonna get into it, but they don't really want to rap, man, mm. cause they do what they do. So yeah. now, like, I don't know, like, they be coming, like, they be, they be around, they, they come with me, yeah. but like, they not really camera niggas, like, they not really in the, in the camera type niggas, like, like, you know what I'm saying? So it just be, so I just be, I don't know, what I'm like, when we doing videos in the city or something, and niggas pop out, like, yeah, we'll yeah. do that, but like, awesome certain support. shit, it just be like, they be like, yeah, nah, nah, it's just too much, like, you know, yeah, 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 talk shit. Nah, what's up, bro? Yo, listen. Trey, definitely appreciate you popping out, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yo, I appreciate it. everything, bro. I real, I fuck with the music, like, like, and like genuinely, yeah, like, yeah. like, bro, you hard, bro. I appreciate Keep it. Keep doing your thing, man. Want you looking at camera right there? Yeah. Tell people where to follow you. What you got coming up next to end the year? Um, everything they should be looking out for. Man, it's Trey Load on all platforms. Trey Dot Load, add me on everything. God, we going up. I'm gonna drop again for y'all. Come on, keep running me up. Yes, sir. No rap. You already know the vibes. Creative combo. Jimmy Jones. Trey Lowe. Yes, sir.